New information on the five charred bodies found in Vicol Valley, adding to the evidence stacking up in the Tempe police investigation into the murder-suicide of a missing family of five. Good evening, I'm Guy Ashley. Jennifer Waddell is on assignment tonight. Breaking news that investigators and people like you have been waiting for. Medical examiners identified two of the five bodies found in a burned out SUV in Pinal County. That same medical team expects to ID the remaining three bodies soon. Not in your sights, Kevin Keene is live in the newsroom with the findings. Guy, the Pima County Medical Examiner's Office tells us two of the five people found burned and dead in that vehicle are James and Yafit Butwin of Tempe. The team reached that conclusion this afternoon because of teeth. The Pima County Medical Examiner's Office received complete dental records for the Butwins from Tempe this morning. <coughs> Tempe police say this vehicle found in the desert over the weekend belongs to the family of five reported missing. A murder-suicide is suspected. Dr. Gregory Hess says his team took those records and compared them to the teeth they found in that SUV. It's done by a trained eye. Uh, you know, there's no software to do that. You just have to put them side by side and uh, take a look. Look for things like fillings, gaps, and other unique identifiers. They found parents James and Yafit Butwin were in the vehicle. Well, both adults had dental restorations, um, uh, repaired cavities or the like, and those Restorations show up as opaque on an x-ray, so it'll be kind of a bright white color in comparison to kind of the lighter blue background of what uh, the bone would be. And so those restorations are very distinctive. Dr. Hess is confident the three other people are the Butwin children, but says his team needs more time to be certain. When that work is done, examiners will move on to determining their cause of death. Do you have the full skeleton for five people? We have all the remains for five people. Whether or not we have full skeletons on everybody is... Uh, you know, there's a lot of fragmentation, so I'm not sure that we've really laid everything out to take a look at it yet. The medical examiner's office first shared the results with Tempe Police. That department released new details in this case also this afternoon, and we'll bring them to you tonight at 10. Kevin, the medical examiner will next be looking at the bones in the vehicle. What could those remains tell us? They could indicate if the people were injured before their deaths, how they were, and if any weapons were used. All right, Kevin, thank you.